OG Duffy and welcome to my latest video. This time we're looking at shocking video game adverts. Yes, shocking. And I'll tell you why. Well, you'll see for yourselves very, very shortly, all right? But think back to a time before the internet. We had our 8-bit computer systems, we had our 16-bit consoles, we had the PS1s and all that started to come out and they were great times but we didn't have the internet to rely on game news, game release, look at game videos, game reviews, we didn't have YouTube and all that sort of stuff to look at the latest games if they're any good. So we had to rely on magazines. Here are a few examples for magazines from the day. As you can see, some great ones. Got great memories of all of them. They were all brilliant, brilliant publications. And of course, they were filled with advertisements from the big game companies of the day. Now, as the title says, some of these were truly shocking. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. But before we do, please do subscribe to my channel and don't hate on the video, all right? This content's from back in the day. So let me know in the comments what you think. If you remember these adverts from the day, if I've missed any real classics, let me know. And uh, hey, watch, enjoy, and be prepared. This was, uh, these really were published adverts. To kick things off, Konami Arcade Company. Yes, Konami, that big player. What were they thinking? Here we go. So to kick things off here, Devastators, and as you can see here, this nice, very olive green crop top. Uh, it will make more appearances, trust me. Here you go again, same crop top, exactly the same cuts in the same places. Could they not afford anything else? And strangely, wearing high heels for war. Hmm. And there it is again. Yes, that's the same crop top. Trust me, I've studied these images. My God. And here we go. Yes, you know it. It's that crop top again. The cuts are in exactly the same places. Could they not afford any more wardrobe stuff? And here we go. We've expanded. No longer on the crop top. But as you can see on this one, we've gone to a uh, boob tube. And uh, look at these two guys here being released out of their dodgy cell. I think they could have broke out of there themselves, didn't you? A Konami GT. As you can see now, what they've done here... Mini skirt, look, very 80s, again with a big air, look at that, lovely. And uh, now they've decided to strip them down to bikinis, with big hair and he's just popped his cork on his champagne while looks at things. Uh, this time, the return of the crop top, but uh, a bit tidier this one. Well done Konami, tidying your act up here. And... Uh, Said models again, these guys have been in look quite familiar throughout all this. And this one's quite conservative for Konami. Well done. Haunted Castle here. Uh, that model again is looking very similar. Uh, I'm recognising him, but this time obviously in makeup. And a, a nice little white dress. And finally, from Konami, this was Aliens. Very conservative with a return to the vest. Now, where would controversy be? But this was classic back in the day. This got into a lot of trouble and they tried to ban it, not for the glorious violence, but for the sexuality. Yes, the sexuality. Uh, it featured Maria Whittaker, who was a page three favourite at the time, and uh, Michael Van Wick, who was Wolf from Saturday's Gladiators. Now, as you can say, in typical um, fashion, this was just um, a free poster and all that. It was just controversial but it sold bucket loads so it always works so of course when you get something as controversial as this what do you do of course you follow it up with a sequel going a bit older now and looking at this jungle king very uh jane from tarzan and jane nice scantily clad advert there and next up um Free with your computer purchase. Quite what's free, I'm not sure. But if they were giving this away, I'm sure they sold out in no time. <laughs> uh, strip Poker 2. Now, these games were two a penny back in the day. And this one was £2.99. Bargain price. But hey, they were bloody awful games. Next up, Defender of the Crown. A bit of an English rose beauty going on here. A bit busty and uh, save the princess and all, I suppose. Hey up. 
Well, here we go. Moon War. The ultimate moonshot. You're not kidding there, folks. That is a moonshot all right, right there. This one. Mama said never told me there'd be nights like this. I'm sure she didn't. Whether she was referring to him or her, I'm not sure. But obviously she's a bit warm. But got the fire going on. And size does matter. Here we go. Dressed for fishing. And uh, is that a little hills I spot? Very well dressed. Well done. Here we go. Chase HQ2. If only all police officers dressed in this way, eh? Would be very different attitude towards police, methinks. Hmm. And here we go. Obviously blurred out because uh, of uh, YouTube copyright laws. You can't show nudity. But I'm sure you get the idea. Google it, you'll find it. Here we go. Death Trap Dungeon. There's only one thing more torturous than playing Death Trip Dungeon. Not playing it. Hmm. EverQuest. This one made me giggle. Uh, it's opened up a whole new world for me. Mm, I doubt that very much, love. You probably didn't realise how geeky he was. Want the code? Then strip your clothes off, you'll get it. Or, if you want one of them Nyko controllers, look at them. Give you a nice... Yeah, anyway. Hmm. And here we go. Two lovely ladies here in their underwear uh, telling you how to turn your Super Nintendo into playing other games from other countries. What the underwear has to do, I don't know. And this one's a classic. I remember when he couldn't keep his hands off me. Now he's got an SNK home console. And the rest is history. Okay, these are shockers. Look at this. This was from Sega. Uh, look at that. That's just amazing. Yes, they are a pair of testicles hanging out of shorts. And then there's this one here. Something to do with your hands that won't make you go blind, say your Game Gear. Uh, now you can play with yourself for hours with Sega's handheld full colour system, blah blah blah. And it even talks about how you can do it at night. Fulfill your widest fantasies. Absolutely shocking. What was Sega thinking with this? But it didn't end there. The more you play with me, the harder it gets. You sit there, eyes glued to the writhing arcade quality graphics, pulling and squeezing your knob. Now you're breathing heavily over the digital stereo sound. Now you're shouting. Oh, it's disgusting, isn't it? And here we go. The Sega Saturn. You'd have thought they'd learnt, but no. I don't mind if my boyfriend plays with himself later. And here you go. Another Sega Saturn advert. There's a new, a beautiful naked woman here. And this one. Now, Nintendo are very innocent, but this was far from innocent. This was absolute shocker. My God, really? Nintendo, what were you thinking? Weren't so family friendly there, were you? And then finally, Virtual Tennis. Again, the bits have been uh, drawn out so you don't have to A, see them, and I don't get a strike on my YouTube channel. Here we go. Vixen. Uh, I think these guys were going for the same aim that they did with uh, Barbarian, etc. And this game here, play for a full frontal assault. Even when you lose, you win. There we go. Rumble Roses. And this one here, Narc. A big bust is about to go down. And these ones here, these are for the Hitman game. I mean, beautifully executed. And here's another one. I mean, they're a bit dodgy if you ask me. My God, they're a bit ropey. And in this one, the guy game. An absolute shocking game. And this Gex 3, a lizard holding breasts. Here we go. Champions. Not so bad, this one. And there's another one for it. I think I prefer this ad for Hachi myself, but very nicely done. And here we go, Blood Rain. Nice bottom shot there. Followed by a nice cleavage shot. Hmm, who ever said sex sells? And here we go, this one is an absolute classic, an awesome game, not Battle Cruiser 30,000. Can you remember it? Because I can't. Good things come to those that wait. She really wants it. I'm assuming that's the video game? Oh dear. Well, that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it's, it makes a welcome break. But seriously, they were the adverts we had in magazines back in the day. I'm sure you may remember some of them. If you do, let me know in the comments. If I've missed some classics, again, let me know in the comments, please. And if you haven't already done so, please do hit that like, subscribe button, and wrap good stuff for me, because I really do appreciate it, okay? Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been OG Duffy. Laters. If you watch the video and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe for more great videos. Thanks for watching.